leaders inspire their teams to think outside the box. So the leader himself or herself has to be sitting outside the box. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you don't, if you aren't adventurous enough, it needs fearlessness in a leader to think outside the box and moreover to implement stuff outside the box. So there has to be a very, very deep belief in what you are doing. And if you feel passionately enough, creative answers will come. And with the creative answers, new avenues will open out. So, and when we train our subordinates, you know, that so that they don't, they are not afraid to speak their minds. You never know, brilliant ideas come from anywhere. But if there is culture in the organization that we have to do it just the way it has always been done and no, this is how it has been done, then this is how it is going to be. Then we are not going to grow very much. And fundamentally, the leader herself or himself has to be sitting outside the box, thinking outside the box and have the guts or the courage to present that uh, idea out into the world and be willing to back it. So fear of failure or fear of, you know, causing a huge loss or something often holds us back. But unless we really try, we don't know. Because two and two make five most of the time or six and a half. So we don't, if we don't, uh, if we don't go, we don't know. So we have to have that kind of uh, courage in us and that also encourages our subordinates to think out of the box.